In this tutorial we learn to set up a new project and to load seismic data from SegWi. Version 4.0 supports a SegWi wizard that facilitates seismic data loading and starting up new projects. To start a new project we need to set up a survey and define how seismic inline crossline numbers are tied to geographical XY coordinates. In the survey definition window we specify what kind of seismic data we have. Only 3D, only 2D or both 2D and 3D. If we have 2D only the setup is really simple. We only need to specify the bounding box outlining the XY coordinates and to give an approximate trace distance. The survey boundaries and the transformation are only used when we create a 3D grid out of 2D interpreted horizons. 2D lines are allowed to lie outside the boundaries of the survey box. After we have set up the survey we import the seismic data whereby the only condition that must be met is that the seismic traces have XY coordinates in the trace headers. If we have 3D data we have to use these specifications to define the survey boundaries and the transformation from inline crossline to XY grids. For 3D surveys OpenDTAC supports several ways to get the boundaries and the transformation information. Option 1 we specify three corner points. Two of these points must be located on the same inline. Option 2 we specify the linear transformation from inline crossline numbers to XY numbers. And option 3 we scan a SecY file. This is the option we will use. Selecting the scan SecY file opens the SecY wizard. In the first step window we select the SecY file and specify the kind of data we have 2D, 3D or pre-stack. Press OK to go to the next step. Two windows pop up. One is a dump of the headers, the ASCII header, the binary header and the first couple of trace headers. From this we learn what type of SecY we are dealing with and in which byte numbers the inline, crossline and XY values are stored. This is the ASCII or EBCDIC header, the next one is the binary header and below we see the table of trace header informations. To view the data we press the display traces icon. And this indeed looks like normal seismic data. The second window determines the revision. Modern SegWi files are stored in revision 1. But many files contain errors against the standard. If we are not 100% sure that it is indeed compliant to revision 1, we can toggle this option so that we can overrule some information. We press OK and OpenDetect scans the entire file and generates a report for QC purposes. It also fills out all relevant information needed for finalizing the survey setup definition. To get back to the survey definition window we press OK again. Here we see a map outlining the survey boundary. When we press OK in this window OpenDetect will prompt us to load the data that was scanned. Say yes to import a SegWi file that is then stored in OpenDTAC's internal CBVS format. To see the data we right click on inline in the tree and add an element. Next we right click on the element in the tree and we select the seismic data that was just imported. It is obvious that the C scale needs to be adjusted. We go to menu view C scale and stretch the scale and save this as our default. If we like the color bar and the scaling we right click on the tree to save these display settings for this particular seismic volume. Finally we go to manage seismic and select this data set as our default set. If we now display a cross line 
we can select the default data set that is popped up with the default scaling and color settings. And this concludes our tutorial on starting a new project in OpenDetect version 4.0.